we have a conducting sphere of radius 10 centimeters or 0 0.1 meters or let's call it A for now and we have a conducting shell of radius 20 centimeters or 0 0.2 meters which we call B what is the capacitance of the device now we we did this question in the lecture in fact we did this as an example and we got this, this uh, the capacitance of a spherical capacitor so you can just use the formula that we obtain or just as a, an exercise which is in fact a good idea it's a good practice to do it all over again like start from scratch because usually you learn something while doing that so so you say okay how do I calculate the capacitance of a spherical capacitor you can put charge plus Q on the inner sphere and minus Q on the outer sphere and then calculate the potential difference between them now to find the potential difference first calculate the electric field what is the electric field at a distance r you can do that using Gauss's law the electric field is radial and it has the same magnitude on the Gaussian sphere the Gaussian sphere of radius little r So you get the integral E dot dA over the Gaussian sphere as a Gaussian surface, which is a sphere, is a charge enclosed. The charge enclosed within the sphere is just Q divided by epsilon 0. And this is nothing but E times 4 pi r squared. So this means that E is Q. This is for R between A and B. So delta V is equal to, now, it's V at A minus V at B. Right. It's just E dot dr from A to B. This is VA, V at A minus V at B. Now, in fact, it's delta V, it's VB minus VA. That's how we define it. VB minus VA is minus the integral from A to B E on DR. So I reverse it and I get rid of the minus sign. Okay. Usually if you go from A to B, it's V B minus V A, which is minus the integral E dot DR from A to B. So if you take V A minus V B in reverse, you just get rid of the minus sign. It becomes this integral. E is just that. So E is radially out, and dr is also radially out, so it's just E dr. And E is just Q over 4 pi epsilon 0, 1 over r squared. So that's 1 over r squared dr from A to B. And the integral of 1 over r squared is minus 1 over r. So this Q over 4 pi epsilon 0 minus 1 over r from a to b which is equal to when r is b it's minus 1 over b and then at a it's a minus another minus so plus one over a. so this q over 4 pi epsilon 0 
ഒന്ന് വരെ മനസ്സൊന്ന് വെറുപ്പി നാം ക്യൂ സി എസ് ക്യൂ ബദൽ തവി ഹിസ് ദൽ തവി ഹിസ് ക്യൂ ക്യൂ ബദൽ തവി സിംപ്ലി ഫോർ പായ് എപ്സോൺ സീറോ ഒന്ന് വർ എ മൈനസ് ഒന്ന് വർ ബി സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ കപ്പാസിറ്റൻസ് ദ കപ്പാസിറ്റർ ആൻഡ് നൗ ഫോർ ദിസ് പ്രോബ്ലം ഓൾ യു ഹാവ് ടു ഡു ഇസ് പുതിൻ ദ നമ്പർസ് ഫോർ പായ് എപ്സോൺ സീറോ നൗ വൺ ഓവർ ഫോർ പായ് എപ്സോൺ സീറോ ഇസ് നൈൻ times 10 to the 9 so this is 1 over 9 times 10 to the 9 1 over a a is 0.1 meters so 1 over a is 10 and b is 0.2 so 1 over b is 5 so this is 10 to the minus 9 divided by 45 so it's it's about 2 2.1 so times 10 to the minus 11 for it or about 21 people for it this is a capacitor now suppose we put suppose q is plus 10 microcoulombs and so and here we have minus 10 microcoulombs what is the resulting potential difference the potential difference is given by this so for part b delta v is q which is 10 microcoulombs over 4 pi epsilon 0 so that's 9 times 10 to the 9 that's 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 times q times q 10 microcoulombs means 10 to the minus 5 coulombs micro is 10 to the minus 6 so 10 microcoulombs is 10 to the minus 5 into 1 over a which is 10 minus 1 over b which is 5 so now we get that's 5 times 9 that's 45 times 10 to the 4 volts so it's 4.5 times 10 to the 5 volts this is the potential difference across the capacitor Thank you for watching.